Good morning and I hope you've been well and this is going to be the first episode of our brand new series on the channel, that being Stardew Valley. Now before we get started with today's brand new game, I just wanted to say thank you to a very long time viewer for recommending this game to me. I've never played or heard much about Stardew Valley so this will be a first time experience for me uh, playing the game here and again I just wanted to say thank you to them for the recommendation. Now like I brought up before this is my first time playing this game. I don't know anything about it. I don't really know how to play it so if I seem terrible at the game I apologize. It's not really a style of game that I would normally play but as I've said before on different videos on the channel I really want this to be a channel that I experience and try out different games that I would play and also wouldn't really play as well if it seems like something that would have my interest. And Stardew Valley is one of those games that when I looked into it a little bit on Steam, it seemed to catch my eye and it seemed really interesting and fun overall and plus it has a lot of positive reviews so hopefully this will be a very fun game for myself and you guys that may be watching this series, so yeah. Now before we get into the video and the game itself, for new viewers that may be new to the channel and may be checking out this video for the first time or any video on the channel for the first time, I normally like to give a little bit of an introduction and a little bit about the channel. Again, for new viewers, if you don't really care or if you are somebody that has watched some of the other videos in the past, you pretty much know what I'm going to get into. So yeah, you could skip on ahead a few minutes if you wish to do so. But if you are new and want to listen, I'll get into introductions now. Hi, good morning. I hope you've been well. Plain and simply, I am a very boring, down-to-earth, chill, repetitive, dumb, and... That's pretty much about it, so yeah. If you're somebody that's looking for something a little bit more fun, exciting, loud, stuff like that, I am far, far, far from that. So again, this is going to be a more chill, down-to-earth kind of series, so if you're more so into that, hopefully you may enjoy the videos, but if not, that's totally fine. As I've always said multiple times, I know that I'm not for everybody. On to the channel. This channel is mainly for Pokemon games, more so Pokemon fanmade games. I hope to get into some official Pokemon games, doing some Soul Links, uh, Nuzlocks, Hardcore Nuzlocks, and maybe some other challenge runs in the future when we get to that point. Other than Pokemon related content, I'm very much into the RPG style games more so uh, pixel, 2D, horror, psychological, story-rich styles of games, and I guess stuff like, um, whatchamacallit, we recently played Night in the Woods. I like games that are more so around that kind of like art style as well, so yeah, hopefully that kind of gets you a decent picture on what I'm kind of like into. If you look through some of the made playlists that I made on the channel, you might get a general idea of what I'm into. I'm not really wise with my words because I'm not really like a gamer and I'm not smart with, again, like the genres of, you know, the games and all of that. So yeah, more so overall, this channel is a it's like a fun thing for me. I, I mainly do it for fun. If the channel grows, cool. If it doesn't, cool. I, I just like playing games. I like making videos. That's pretty much what this channel is all about, so if you enjoy it, cool. If not, cool. Alright, on to the video before I go on and on forever. Uh, let's go on new here. Oh, interesting. Okay. It kind of reminds me of that one game, uh, Toaria or Toaria, however you pronounce it. Um, I, I might get into that a little bit later, but for now, let's focus on what we have here. I assume that's a randomizer, right? Okay, let me... Whoops, there we go. I guess I didn't click it all the way. Um, male, female, I am male. Uh, skin. 
Okay, so you have a lot of skin options. I guess we'll go back to the uh, default. That's fine. Um, or is that the default? That's the default. We'll just go with that. Uh, hair. Let's see. What do you got here? Oh, we could do something like Bob Ross. Actually, hold up. How many is there? 74. I mean, to be fair, it is good, though, because, like, it gives you, like, a variety, honestly. That's kind of cool. Uh, let me see here, though. Um... I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, let me take a look. What do these do? Oh, you get to turn your character. That'll work. I have uh, actual, like, long hair, so that'll do. Uh, let's see. I believe this, e or this is, um... These are, like, overalls, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of looks like a diamond chest plate a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Well, hold up. How many is there? 112. Let's start at the end. Let's be different. Kind of like the gray. The purple's nice. Let's see. Kind of like the red because I normally wear like red uh, shirts. Blue is nice. Green. The purple is kind of cool too. Since purple is like my favorite color. Oh, that's nice. I kind of like that more deep purple. Not too dark, but not too light either. We'll go with that one. We'll keep it simple. Let's see, dress, uh, skirt. I like how there's like barely anything for the pants, but all the others have like a ton. Um, we'll just go with the normal uh, blue jeans, I guess. Um, accent, I believe is what that's for. Let's see. Um... No. Yeah, my beard isn't... I have a beard, but it's not that large. Let me go back here. Can I... Oh, no. Nothing like that. I guess that one may be like the closest... Well, what are you? Hmm, no. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't have to be full on ac like accurate to it, though. I think that's the closest thing to what I got going on. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to skip the intro. Um, I color it. I don't think it's really going to matter, honestly. I guess he can kind of see it. I'll, I'll just keep it this color, the default. Uh, hair color. Can I do, like, something wacky? Oh, I can. Yeah, we'll keep it simple. Ooh, I could be like an old man. That'd be kind of cool. But I think I'll, um... Oops. See, that's a little more... I'm trying to get a little bit more... Let's do something like that. That's close enough. It's like a dark brown. That's fine. Uh, the pants color. Oh, cool. Okay, so... I can... Let's see...
Let's use something like that, because I normally wear darker color pants. That'll work. Um, it's just that I don't want to spend a ton of time on this, even though it's like 10 minutes already in the vid. Uh, let's see. And, and that's something you'll learn with me as well. I, I like to take my time. I'm very patient and slow, so bear with me here. And plus, again, it's a new game for me. Uh, animal preference. So is it a... Oh, we got a dog or a cat, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why, I kind of like this guy here. He's just kind of chilling. Hmm. I don't know, though. It's kind of tricky. Because, um... I don't know. I like cats, but I also like dogs. But to be fair, I brought up on a video, I'm more so into, like, uh, fish and reptiles, though. But... Cat or dog? Honestly, I don't know. I, I like both. Um... You know, let me think about that for a moment. Let me go to the name. I don't really want to choose the name Alon. That's normally the one that I pick for all my games. I, I want this one to be different. Let me do this. What's the first thing that comes to my head? Barrel. Barrel was the first word that came to my head. Alright, barrel. You know what? We're from the barrel farm. And I love barrels. I... I guess it kind of lagged a little bit. My bad. Uh, barrel farm. Uh, barrel, barrel. I like that. And then... Oh, so are these like the color homes or barn that I get? Because I heard from the one guy, um, the longtime viewer that I mentioned earlier. He was explaining that it's kind of like a farmer... I don't know if he said it was quite like a farmer simulator game, but it has like a story and it can be beaten, but you can pretty much play it indefinitely. And there's like a lot of like stuff going on with it. But um... Well, you know, before I go to this, l let me go back to the cat or dog real quick. Um... I don't know why. I like this guy here. I don't know what it is, but I, I kind of like him. But for some reason... I'm drawn to this cat here. I like the gray cat. But I like the dog, because he looks pretty goofy. You know what, I'm flipping a coin. Give me a second. Alright, hopefully it's not going to be too loud on the microphone. I know I don't have like a face cam thing or anything like that, but maybe you can hear the quarter uh, hit the ground or something. Uh, let's do heads, the dog, tails, the cat. Let's do that. One flip. And... Alright, we're going with the cat. Sorry, dog. Alright, let me go to the farm here. Oh, so they all have descriptions. Hold up, let me read this then. A standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. So pretty much like, again like it says the standard one. Man, I like the colors on this one. The beach farm. Good far aging and fishing. Foraging, not far aging. Foraging, sorry and fishing and tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on the shore. However, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. Interesting. Riverland Farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic river banks. Fish are more common here than usual. You start with a fish smoker. Okay. Meadowlands Farm. It's not the best for growing crops, but there is a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. Okay, so... Right, so this is like standard, maybe maybe like your beginner 
thing if you're like new to it and then these ones like they have so pretty much this one's kind of like neutral like everything is you know about the same with it but with the others it kind of has like ups and downs like hey you may get some crates here but the drawback sprinklers aren't going to work here with this one um there's fish that are more common here i assume some drawbacks are maybe like not being being able to have like livestock as good as some of the others maybe that's what i'm getting off of it um uh the forest farm that one's kind of pretty the woods limit your farming space however the bounty of the forest is nearly at your footstep or doorstep sorry so a lot of exploration there a hilltop farm rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm however a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities oh okay so there is like some mining within the game then so it is kind of like similar to Terraria then wilderness farm i, I kind of like the dark look to this one there's plenty of good land here but beware a night the monsters come out at night the monsters come out so okay but i assume the other ones would have monsters as well right i don't know i i don't know four corners farm the land is divided into four parasols each with its own perk perfect for a group oh okay so this is for like a multiplayer thing okay um so this one's kind of like out of the picture then hmm i here's the deal for a first time playthrough i feel like this is the better one and the more wise choice but if I had to choose from the heart, the one that I think I want to go for. I want to go with this one. I don't know what it is. I, I kind of like the little like green and the water and like the sunset, the palm trees. I'm about to probably choose one of the more difficult ones, but... I think this is the one that I want. If I had to choose, it would either be that, this, that, or this one. You know what? I, I will spend forever going back and forth. I, I want the one at the beach. That's the one I want. Oh, who are you? And for my very special grandson, I want you to have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Blank years later. Oh my god. Joja, join us thrive. Oh yeah, we're thriving back here. Terminated. What is that, Sheriff Woody over there? Life's better with Jojo. Oh, that's us. Hold up.
Oh. Why be behind the counter, behind the desk, when I can own a farm? I gotta get out of here. Dear Beryl, I love the name. If you're reading this, you must be in a dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with, with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belonged. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Barrel Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I got you, Grandpa. That's right, I'm quitting this job. We're gonna start a farm. You know... I gotta say, I kind of like the start of the game. It's really, like, interesting so far. I like it. Yeah, let's get out of, uh, Joja, whatever that place was called. For a moment. Skip? No, I ain't gonna skip that. I want to see all of this. Robin, who are you? Hello, you must be Beryl. Why, yes, I am the Beryl. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here. Oh, Lewis is a mayor. Okay. That's uh, one guy um, our father wanted to say hey to. Or, sorry, grandfather. Uh, sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right on over here if you follow me. Alrighty. Oh, it automatically makes you walk. Okay. Cool, cool. You know, I'm kind of glad I chose this spot. I honestly like it a lot already. This is Barrow Farm. It's beautiful. I love it. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Lewis, what's going on, bro? Ah, uh, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of... Pelican Town, however, or Pelican, sorry. I don't know why I said Pelican. Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. You know what? I love the home. It's better than my old job and me being stuck in that office. Don't listen to her, Beryl. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, so I can upgrade. Gotcha. And I assume that little thing above her head pretty much confirms that Lewis, Lewis is looking out for me. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Hold up, I gotta say hey. From my uh, grandfather. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Lewis, get back here. Maybe we'll tell him later. 
I won't. What? I assume the chicken got cut off there. Your progress has been saved. Nice. $500. Not too bad. Oh, what the? Uh. Oh, okay. It's not arrow keys. It's uh, W A S D. Uh, so that's that. What are the? Uh, oh, okay. So E is the bag. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm honestly a boomer when it comes to games. I, 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 I enjoy playing games, but I'm not good at playing games, if that makes any sense. Uh, options, I'm not gonna touch that. Okay. Oh, collections. So like, um, uh, medals and stuff, I assume. I won't worry about that right now. Uh, special items. Okay. Uh, animals. I don't think we... No, we don't. Uh, crafting. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want to look. So there's that. See, Mayor's Manor, Graveyard. Okay, I'll look at that um, later then, or another time. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of people here. So I wonder... Kind of looks like the default Minecraft um, person. Is Steve in here? I forgot her name. Are, are there like two um, Minecraft characters? That one... Like the girl and the boy character? I, I know his name is Steve. I, I don't remember her. I wonder if Steve's in here. That'd be kind of goofy. I don't see him though. Unless I'm blind yeah I don't see him and I wonder like what does it mean by like single I don't know what it mean oh like like relationship stuff that's the only thing I can think of um Okay, I mean, I, I, I guess that might be a, a thing with the game, I, I don't know. Uh, somebody can, like, give- if you've played the game, you can give me, like, some advice and tips and pointers if you wish to do so. I, again, I, I, I am a boomer, and I am brand new to this game, so I, I, I don't know anything much about it. Um, farming, combat... Oh, so I assume these are kind of, like, skill points that you get as, like, you do, like, some of these over time, then? That's what I'm gonna guess. And then, okay, basic, um, inventory. Gotcha. Okay. Oops, wrong uh, buttons. Uh, let me... Oh, I can... Well... I will just leave everything here. You're new. Um, oh, maybe, no, oh, I don't have the, no, maybe, no, maybe we can't open that right now. Oh, journal. Well, let me read this real quick. 
It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two out of 28. Okay, so I assume the... Um, these are the 28 then. Gotcha. Let me... Maybe I just can't open that right now. Or maybe I'm hitting the wrong button. Let me... I'm clicking the A button. Oh, X. I'm dumb. Sorry about that. I was hitting the A button, but I guess it's um X is B button. Okay. Uh, you received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Oh, wait. So maybe... Maybe... Well, let me do this. So maybe... Let me do this. And I assume... Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the pause there. Uh, I kind of hit the wrong button and kind of stopped the recording. That's okay. Uh, but I assume uh, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6 through like 9 pretty much. Um, let, me, let me walk down here. Because like if I did 4, 5, 6, right, okay. Gotcha. Uh, let me just uh, do that. And it's already like 10 a.m. Now, if I wanted to, oh, I guess that's energy, maybe. Now, if I wanted to save and quit, for an example, the trash can. Oh, uh, okay. So I I do that. Okay. Um, what are we at? I think we're a little over like 30 something minutes in. I think what we'll do for now is we'll kind of keep it simple. Keep the first episode more so like an introduction to the game. Uh, first thoughts of the game. Honestly, I really like it a lot. I'm really excited to see like, you know, the townspeople uh, meet some of them and kind of like get our farm, you know, situated and up and running. I'm excited to see where the barrel farm will go from here on out so yeah overall i really like it it's definitely a different game that i normally wouldn't really like play but it has like that style of game that i would normally enjoy and love playing so i'm really excited for the future of the series so yeah but i guess with that that's gonna be it for today's episode next episode we'll get more so into the town meet up with some of the people and then learn as we go and then if you want to give me some tips and pointers not outright like spoil the game or anything like that but maybe give some advice and whatnot if you are somebody that knows quite a bit about the game i'm definitely all ears because again as i've said multiple times this is my first time playing through the game so yeah Anyways, though, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.